Hello everyone. We have here the hierarchy of numbers or the all numbers. So in the all numbers, they are divided into two groups. They are real numbers and the imaginary numbers. So we have first the real numbers. and the imaginary numbers. So in the, let's go first to the imaginary numbers. So when can we say that a number is an imaginary? So if you have this one, square root of negative one. So square root of negative one can be expressed into i, which represent imaginary number, okay? So if you have, 2i or you have 3i so that is imaginary number okay now we have these real numbers these real numbers are divided into two groups we have the irrational irrational and the second group is rational okay so we have first the irrational. Irrational numbers are numbers which have repeating decimals. Okay, for example, we have this one, square root of 2. So if you will solve this one or express this one into a numbers, the result here is has repeating decimals. Okay, or you can write square root of 3 or square root of 5. Okay. Now, if you will ask where is square root of 1, square root of 1 or square root of 4, so these are not irrational, okay? Because square root of 1 can be written into positive negative 1 and also square root of 4, positive negative 2, okay? Now, we have the second group, the rational, okay? Rational numbers are grouped into two also which are fraction and integers okay okay let's go to fraction first so fraction is grouped also into two okay so fraction has two groups which are the proper fraction and the improper fraction. So the proper fraction, it is a fraction where the numerator is lesser or smaller than the denominator, like you can say two-third, okay? So two is lesser than three, or you can say five over eight, okay? So the numerators are le lesser than the denominator next is improper so improper is opposite to proper so you can say three halves or eight over five so the de the numerator is larger than the denominator okay now we have this second group we have the integer so the integer it is grouped into two the negative and the positive or whole number okay so the negative so these are negative numbers like negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 until negative infinity okay so that's the negative and we have this positive or whole number. So this positive or whole number is divided into two groups. We have the zero and the natural. So the natural numbers, these are samples one, two, three, until in positive infinity okay now we have this what we call complex number so complex number 
is the addition of the real numbers and the imaginary imaginary numbers so it is equal to real numbers plus the imaginary numbers okay so for example we have 2 plus 3i okay so that is 2 is a real number and 3i is an imaginary number okay or you can say negative 2 minus 5i okay so negative 2 is real number and negative 5i is imaginary number okay so by the way if you will ask this is an addition because this can be written into negative 2 plus negative 5i all right so that is complex number again